since Better the Atlantic, we moved to LA from our San Jose house. And we're not in the Bay anymore, so I mean, less Bay life, but honestly, Bay life isn't, isn't really a place. It's something you bring with you. Living in LA with everyone is really nice. Um, I've never lived anywhere else than with my parents, so I have a lot of responsibilities here. Clean up a lot of chores, I have a dog, so I'm pretty much either practicing or I'm taking care of the dog. Bjerg said like, the new addition is definitely really good. You get more motivation when someone new joins the team. He's just the, the young blood to our team. Gets along really well with Turtle. He trolls a lot, so that's already, like, we already have experience with Turtle. With Bjergsen, it's like, okay, we have a second guy doing the same thing. For Bjergsen, he had really large shoes to fill. I mean, we're losing a main shot caller, a really strong mid laner. Taking up the shot caller position from Reginald is where I mostly feel the pressure. Shot calling isn't something that you can say, you can just designate a person to do. It's something that comes kind of naturally. We kind of lack that now that he's gone, and I feel like since I took over his role, I'm the one who needs to step it up. Like, Reginald was really good. His mechanics were really good too, but Bjergsen's a step up on him. He's like a really strong laner, so he opens a lot of opportunities for us to make plays. He's very, very good. I don't think I've ever seen him lose his lane like in a convincing fashion. Not only that we have Bjergsen, we also have Reginald still on the team, using his experience to help make us better. Instead of just us watching over our own mistakes, we have Reggie there behind our backs. It's a little bit more motivation. Like, if I mess up, like, God damn it, he's gonna lecture me on this. Reggie as a coach is huge. It's just as big as Bjergsen coming into middle, so I think it was a great move. Here I feel like we're a team, we're a family, we stick together. I definitely think that moving to TSM was the best decision that I've done in my entire esports career. Right now we're just focusing on winning an ALCS. Our goal is to get top two at least, but I'm really looking to get that top spot. The short term goals on the way to Worlds is to prepare for it. Everything is for Worlds. I was here at Worlds spectating last season and I just felt like, man, I wish I was there. And I can't, I can't imagine how awesome it would feel to be on the stage.